Okay, today we're going to check some diodes on our Miller CP250TS welder. It's an old welder from back in the 90s. I understand these things are like German tanks, they last forever. Uh, ours is acting up a little bit, so we're going to do some diode testing on it. There's two types of diodes in this thing. I'm going to show you how to test both of them. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the first one I call the plain Jane diode. Uh, it's just the um, diode out. Diodes basically allow electricity to flow one way and not the other. So to test your diode, you use your multimeter and you set it to the diode setting, which you see here. And you just put your black lead on the body and you put your red lead on the uh, lead coming out of the diode and you have resistance. As you can see, we have 437 ohms resistance. And then, of course, you just swap them out. Which I'm going to do while I'm holding my phone. And then when you do that, the gate is closed, basically. No current passes through. You have no resistance. Swap them back. And you have resistance. And that's how you check this particular diode in this machine. This is the uh, diode we're using. That's the part number. Um, so it's pretty straightforward on that. Now the second one we're going to check uh, is the, uh, they call them uh, silicone control rectifiers. And this is what they look like. Uh, same kind of thing except it's got two leads coming out, two real small leads. It's got a red and white wire coming out. And I'm going to show you how to check that. Now this is a little more, uh, this is a little bit more involved in testing this. This is what it looks like in our welder right here. Uh, the first one we checked are the diodes you see right here. There's four of those. Now we're going to check the silicone controlled rectifiers, which are these right here. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's some instructions on how you wire it up, basically. Um, so you can take a look at this, freeze it if you need to. But here's the test right here. You take your red lead of your multimeter and you hook it to the ground, or the body. I keep saying ground, but the body of the, of the uh, diode. And you take your black lead and you hook it to the lead coming out of the diode. And when you do that, you set your multimeter up really, really high. I've got mine set at 20 million ohms. And you can see I've got some resistance here of 6.3 million ohms. Now to test the thing, all you do is take the white wire right here that's coming out of your diode. And you attach your lead to it. And then you just take it and you go to the ground of the, of the cylinder, of the um, diode. I say solenoids because we work on transmissions all the time here. And when you do that, you got to take your meter and set it down to uh, 200 ohms, and you'll see that you have really low resistance now. So the gate's pretty much open now. You only have 16. And then, of course, when you take it off, it reverts back to the high resistance of, uh, what was it, 6 million ohms. It takes a minute to get there, too. No, I'm sorry. Uh, and it settles in for, for a few minutes too. You gotta let it kind of settle down. Seven million six point nine, somewhere around there. So that's all you do, man. All you gotta do is take your uh, take your white lead right there and go to your ground or go to your body of the uh, of your uh, diode, and then set your meter back down to where um, it's gonna read it, and then uh, you know take it back off there, and it goes back up. And now you know you got a good working, uh, they call them gated diodes, or some people call them silicone controlled rectifiers, or, you know, diodes with, uh, with uh, the uh, red and white leads off of it. Now, some of these diodes, uh, if they're small enough, when you take the uh, white wire off the uh, body of the diode, it'll hold that low resistance. Um, but, you know, on the larger ones like this, the meter understands not really strong enough to push enough current through it to hold it. So um, this is the way I've learned to check them. It's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> I've checked the uh, ones in here, and they all check the same, with the exception of one. This one right here is checking low, so we're going to go ahead and replace it. This one right here is. So we uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and have a great day.